Listen to this. I now understand that song, The Sound of Silence. That's really, really good news. That's deflating our paint booth. Yesterday, we finished, hopefully, the last paint session. If you look over here, we managed to get the cowlings finished. No small task. These things were huge to manage. And then this goes on the outside, like, yay. But that was the last bit of the paint booth. If you look, the helicopter's completely painted now. I know you're wondering why it's sitting like this. I've got fluid now in all the gearboxes. And for the aft gearboxes, I wanted to make certain uh, hints from Brad that oil actually does get all the way back into the aft portion of that gearbox. So I've kind of got it laying down right now. We'll check that. I let it do that all day long. And then we'll show you where, where this is where we're truly on the home stretch. It's pretty exciting. Carol managed to get the interior in. We have to have it all in right now because the next step is to weigh it. So we got really nice seats. I think we've shown these to you before. We actually put them on sliders. So that works out nice. We got cabin lights for loading. Those are hot wired to the battery. So that makes it nice. We don't have to run down the whole master switch. All the electrical works. I think everybody's seen that before. So uh, new windshields are in. Managed to get them in without cracking. I think I mentioned before I cracked one of them. That was a very expensive mistake. I know we've talked about setbacks in the past. That was a big setback and an expensive one, almost two grand for new windshields. Uh, so what's left? Well, we've got three hard days ahead of us right now. The airworthiness inspection is actually scheduled for Saturday. So that'll be a big day. Between now and then, we're going to go down the basement, put the blades on, and rig the rotor and weigh it. And we're, we're not doing it in okay. the basement. We're only getting the blades from the basement. That's correct. We're going to go down the basement, get the blades, and bring them up here to do it. Okay. Hence the need to remove the paint booth yes. so from the, the hangar. The paint booth is coming down, and we're going to have lots of room. So uh, anybody interested in the bounce house? Actually, the timing was just perfect to get done with the paint. Our neighbor, Steve uh, Valine, really neat guy. He's got a couple airplanes, one of which is a champ, and decided it needed to be recovered because it's been 54 years. And lucky for him, he's another guy who said, I want his guardian angel. When he took the covering off, the, the cable was actually routed from one of the pulleys around a tube as opposed to directly up to the next pulley. So for 54 years, that cable's been chafing on this structural tube on the frame in that champ. I'll try and get a picture and put that in the video too, but uh, really, really poor workmanship there. Anyway, we're excited. Hopefully Friday we'll have some good news. And uh, the exciting thing with Steve too is since he's going to recover his champ, he wanted the paint booth. So it's perfect. Comes down and goes away to Steve and somebody else gets to use it. It's actually been, a, been wonderful uh, uh, for painting the helicopter. So anyway, thanks for listening, by the way. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you Saturday, hopefully.